This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, October 14th. I'm James Spann. Rain on the way out, cooler air on the way in. Really nice weather for the weekend ahead. Let's go in there and take a look. What a trough. It brought some uh, pretty nasty weather to the state yesterday and last night. We had one fatality in the state that was from a tree falling onto a mobile home. An elderly lady was killed in Walker County near Dora. But uh, the rain is on the way out this morning. That was the radar at 508. You can see a narrow line of heavier showers coming through Birmingham at that point, but all of that will be sweeping east, and by uh, mid-morning, the rain should be out of here. The Weather Service has canceled the flash flood watch that was in effect for parts of central Alabama as the heavier rains have ended. Uh, we do have flash flood watches northeast of here, and also to the east of here, a tornado watch for parts of Georgia until 11 Eastern time this morning. I actually had a couple of tornado warnings for some of the Atlanta suburbs uh, early this morning, but uh, again, a decent chance by the time you watch this, that watch will probably be canceled and new ones will be posted east of there. A slight risk of severe weather today for Georgia and the Carolinas and some of the adjacent states. And this is the overall rain for the next five days. And we're going to be dry here. Uh, this counts. This actually started early this morning, but you can see the rain is on the way out, and it's going to be a really nice uh, setup here for the end of this week and the weekend ahead. Hey, we got a hurricane in the in Atlantic. How about that? Uh, first off, that little disturbance halfway between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa, not expected to develop, but uh, this thing certainly has. This is Gonzalo, a hurricane with sustained winds of 110 miles an hour that is just northeast of Puerto Rico, and this is expected to be a major hurricane, Category 3, as it begins to make the turn, and unfortunately, it looks like this thing could go right on top of the island of Bermuda, uh, perhaps uh, during the day Friday or maybe early Friday night, and uh, it will probably be a Category 2 at the time that happens. Uh, here's a look at the Hurricane Wharf model. I'm sorry, this is the GFDL. And again, if you look really carefully at those graphics, that thing is passing just, and I mean just, west of the island. Um, so we'll keep a close eye on that. If you've got friends or relatives in Bermuda, let them know. This could be a big issue there at the end of the week. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the OZ run. Ballot today at 1 o'clock local time. There's your trough. The surface low underneath that is south of Chicago. And the showers and storms by midday today should be out of here over into Georgia and the Carolinas. Cooler today. Uh, we'll be in the 60s most of the day with a pretty good west wind. And maybe a few peaks of sun this afternoon. Now, this is tomorrow. There's a low cloud deck that will be north of us. And if you are in places like Huntsville or the Shoals, it could very well be a mostly cloudy day for you tomorrow. Down this way, we figure we'll have a mixture of clouds and sunshine and the high anywhere from 66 to 70. It'll be a fairly cool day with a good breeze out of the northwest. So those low thickness values moving in here. And there might be a touch of rain tomorrow night over parts of North Alabama with a lobe of energy coming around the upper low north of the state. This is the uh, NAM tomorrow night at 10 o'clock local time, suggesting some light rain or drizzle. Uh, basically north of a line from Muscle Shoals to Gadsden. So, again, uh, if you're in that part of the state, just keep in mind that possibility. This is Thursday. Should be a picture-perfect fall day. We start the day in the upper 40s. High should be around 70. And Friday, same deal, just gorgeous. Lots of sun. We'll start the day in the 40s. The high should be well up in the 70s. And if you like that, you'll like the weekend. This is Saturday. Glorious weather for race weekend at Talladega. Football, anything else. Saturday, a bright sunny day. Start the day in the 50s, the high in the 70s, and the same thing on Sunday. Early next week, we stay dry. And this is what October you know, should be about here, these long dry spells. And then Tuesday of next week, we've got ridging over the central U.S. and troughing over the east. And again, we're dry. And the old GFS trying its best to form another low down in the Gulf. Uh, this is in the uh, Bay of Campeche, and we've seen that all season, and these things never happen. We'll check October 28th, toward the end of the month. Uh, pretty good 
trough and upper low feature north and west of here, and that's suggesting a cold front coming down the line, 540 thickness line down to Chicago. Maybe a shower with that feature. That broad surface low is near Key West, and on the 29th, nice cool dry air mass settles in here. And look at that, no 80s on the board for the next 15 days. All the way through the end of the month, highs, 60s and 70s, lows, 40s, 50s. And again, that's what you expect this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.